Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've missed oh, you. I'm so hard with Facebook shutting down like that. Never mind, we're all here now. And yes, that's thank goodness. Yeah, great. great. I, just, I just wanted to say how wonderful it was last week um, having everybody, um, you know, sharing with us and sending us messages. Yeah. And we loved it so, so much. And I was thinking over the weekend because everything's changed again and now we have the government saying possibly it could be six months although they're not yep. saying it is i wondered if anybody had had any sort of extraordinary thoughts about life change or what has changed fundamentally because we've had to rethink everything our lives completely because we can't do what we did and what we thought was our life is now something else and i wonder what everybody thought and just to say how you know amazing it is again for me and i know for us just the sharing and the sense of community not just the amazing nhs which is just extraordinary but the sense really of is. charities and goodwill and kindness and all those things seem to have come to the fore yeah it's very interesting harry i think that uh, uh, that you never notice of before if you like the things that were being left before like like older people the nhs things that were being neglected the homeless are suddenly being looked after so like the currency has changed from money from money being the most important thing the currency has changed to kindness and it, it's very interesting to to watch what's happened like if you think of the little old lady down the road nobody spoke to her for, for years and now she's being looked after we're now turning yeah. and the internet which was being used not in the right way i feel at all before the kids were always on their ipads now it's like everything's turned around families are coming together they're talking to each other they're there at meal times they have to be together they can't be anywhere else and so now everything i think is is just it's so exciting i think what's what's happened and i don't think that society will go back to how it was before i mean do you no and money too money what what does that mean anymore doesn't mean a thing does it although we've got to have it still but i, I think know, it's going to be very scary <laughs> It's very well, I have scary. To say, at the weekend, I had the worst weekend I think I've had in the, in the sense of kind of hopelessness, a sort of what, what, what's this world we're living in? It, what's it going to be when we come out of it? And I really had the most terrible, sick stomach and sick body, and I felt this is this is. I don't know what's happened to our world. And then I watched this lady uh, on whatever it was, and she was saying, you know, there's, there's light in this darkness. There is light, you know, and she was going on about what, what goodness and what happiness there can be. And, and that, you know, for the first time ever, China has got clear skies and there are birds singing and Italy has got less pollution than it's ever, ever had, you know, with Venice, with the, clean waters and fish are starting to swim where they've never been before because of the pollution and I suddenly it, it kind of lifted me but there was still a terrible hurt inside me and then I heard some music that I love and you know just whatever it was something from my past and it lifted me and I know because I work with dementia people and Alzheimer's in this lovely place called Avery and they they lift these people out of their chairs and when they hear music they can they suddenly come alive and I just thought yeah. maybe that's the answer you know all those things that can lift us out of this I think absolutely absolutely Sherry I mean music is a great leveler and it's united so many people i mean i was looking at the internet at the weekend and like all over the world from new york to um australia to canada to everywhere and london and you know all every every continent they're doing symphony orchestras and virtual from home playing beautiful beautiful yeah. music and it's like it's the thing that, as you just said, it heals. It, it's, a, it's a great healer, music. Somehow it heals, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. And it's like Shakespeare, you know, if music be the food of love. It's true. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think the hardest part that we have at the moment is the isolation. 
And yeah. I think that, you know, because we are all very, especially you, Sherry, you know, you, you know, you're a very people person like I am. And, you know, and it's family, you know, my, my daughter and my grandchildren are my life and I can't touch them. Yeah. I can't I kiss them. I can't hug them, you know, but, but I, everybody's in the same boat. So I should stop moaning and shut up about it. But no, it's no, not, you should know. No. <laughs> it's not moaning. It's not it's moaning. Not. It's saying what we all feel. And it's so wonderful. Yeah. And this is why this is so important that we share it, that we feel the same, that we understand. Yeah. And there is no shame in feeling shit. Excuse my friend. No. So, that's true yeah. i think it's it's important and, and what i i also just want to say when we were just waiting when facebook was shutting down and we couldn't you know talk to anyone and as we thought we were going to be able to and what we all eventually we talked around all sorts of different matters and in the end we ended up talking about chocolate we <laughs> talked, talked about chocolate and that's what we ended up with it's funny no, no, i was no, thinking sorry, of all the things in the world chocolate. <laughs> what we ended up with was what's your favorite chocolate i don't know i don't know and it was so funny guys I <laughs> it was. please please answer this question somebody what was the bar of chocolate called that had all different flavors flavors of chocolate it was by fries and it had like orange and peppermint and cream and i, used oh, to get I know what you mean and you mean it was in little bits and every bit you broke off had another color inside oh, it it was the oh best. gosh yes <laughs> And yeah, the our sophistication, our sophistication, what can I say? The heart <laughs> of everything is chocolate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it really, <laughs> really is. Can I well, ask Easter's questions? coming. Easter's coming. Yes. And it, well, I can't, no one can bring it, but I only like those dark eggs, you know, really dark eggs. No, you're going to be inundated with them now. Oh. People are going to be sending them from every corners of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> and your, your punishment is you have to eat your way out. <laughs> some questions from um, the questions that came up last time yeah um this is for debbie jonathan wants to know the name of your dog but you have several dogs who's with you today well actually they're all here today but you can't see them all um be there's beanie who is my chihuahua I should, I should, hang on i'll just go and get her oh she's, she's gone she's disappeared <laughs> <laughs> i've just disappeared hold on just talking about my guinea pig if you would like to see it no 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 guinea no. pigs <laughs> That's not that. a euphemism, everybody. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> this is Beanie. Ah, oh, oh, hi, so Beanie. Beanie, Beanie my oh, Chihuahua. Beanie. And I've got Tinkerbell and Bear here as well. My uh, my Springadors. They're half Springer and half uh, Lab, so they're Springadors. So that that was my question. Thank you, whoever asked that. And it's nice. Next, to it was Jonathan. Next, Next question Jonathan. is. Um, those people who are doing exercise, which I think possibly is just you, Dee, um, have you done what? any Joe Wicks exercise? Kirsty wants to know. None whatsoever. Uh -huh. But <laughs> no. my daughter and granddaughter are, I have to say. I think they do it every day. Yeah. And actually, my <laughs> I'm not sure how you turn him on, so I'll, I'll try and turn him on. Yeah. My granddaughter, sounds, is, 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 she's nine uh, on Saturday. Mine and, is. <laughs> and really... Oh God! What what date is yours? Uh, she, oh, she's not. Uh, hers was January. She, oh, was it? Because my yeah. granddaughter was very ill. She had leukemia, and oh but God. she's she's been in remission for you know, well, a year over a year, and so she's really healthy. So she's decided because the whole family were doing the Joe Wicks. She's decided she's going to do yoga. So I think she must take after her grandma. Oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> we had a wonderful comment last week. We had a lovely comment last week from Hayley Hemingway who said, We're like the Brady Bunch and Blankety Blank all rolled into one. <laughs> or Celebrity <laughs> Squares. That's quite And, so, and, like and somebody that. else said, Lisa said she wants a late night version of this show with Good. wine instead of tea. Right, she's on. Yeah, I'm it could get, it could get very, <laughs> very, very, very naughty. I'll be there. I'll be there. I've so got funny. my wine ready here. No problem. Yeah. So I, step I, I away. Musical-wise, Harriet, there is a song yes. that goes with it, what we're going through at the moment, which is from the Rocky Horror Show, isn't it? Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. <laughs> well, this that's for the late night version. <laughs> yes, yes. 
<laughs> I think we need to stop now, girls. Thank you. Take a step back. Um, Amy wants to know. Yeah. Amy wants Don't to know if you started doing off. anything well, you've off. always meant to do, like cleaning your kitchen drawers, oh. or maybe just your drawers. Just your drawers. <laughs> yeah. So what, have, what have we been doing? Has anyone just been cleaning or doing something different? Or I, 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 I cleaned out my airing cupboard. No, airing I, cupboard or airing cupboard? Airing. <laughs> and I bought these. I bought these. Look, I had to show you. These are oh, yes. makeup glasses. I have never, honestly, I'm delirious on Facebook now. I thought it might work, you see? <laughs> oh, they, they, are, they, like they are crazy. And then you do the other side. They're good. Yeah, they're then I realised that it's just as good if you just use a magnifying mirror because they're absolutely useless. I'm going to give them to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all drinking our normal tea today or has somebody got something different? No, normal no tea. I've got hot water and, and honey. So I've just oh, that was good lovely. for my stomach. Yeah. Your tell yeah. How's your tummy feeling, Sherry? Uh, quite, it was, it's been very sick the whole weekend, but I think that's a lot of, you know, worry and, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are having the same worried stomach, but, yeah. um, you know, and we've all got to get over this because we don't know how long we're going to be here, do we? No. They're saying what six months is? now, but let's hope that that's an exaggeration. Yeah. And, Please. you know, anxiety, anxiety lowers the immune system, you know? So yeah. we have to somehow, well, this is why it's great that we're talking together because, you know, that really helps to keep up everyone's spirits up. That's what the main thing. What were you going to suggest today, Dee? Yes. With well, I'd like to tell you about. Yes. And I know you're going to find it. But, oh, you know, the no. power, we underestimate, bear with me, girls, we underestimate Grace. the power of the mind, right? Mm, and these right. crystals... These crystals, this is a clear quartz, and that is the rose quartz, okay? Mm -hmm. they're, they're both healing crystals. That one is supposed to be the master healer of all time. Why is it a man? Put... <laughs> Sorry? Why is it a man? Why isn't it the mistress healer? No. Exactly. No, mistress healer, yes, it's Thank very you. good, but absolutely yours is spot on. <laughs> and... <laughs> If I go and, and get a stone one, from the garden, will that work? Well, do you know, my grandson, one of my grandsons, came. he's very into, into he keeps saying he likes that moonstone. And he, he picked a beautiful, um, like a, a big stone the other day, well, about a few weeks ago when he was allowed to come over. And it looks like a sort of a crystal. It's amazing. I've got it downstairs, actually, which I'll show you another time. But these two, so this one is, is the healer and that one is love. They go together. And actually, I find, I was just going to say, I find if anyone wants to send us any diamonds, rubies and sapphires quite well <laughs> as well. I don't know if... Well, uh, that's a very good uh, suggestion. Could they send them to my address, please? Yeah. No, mine. Yeah, I said I it first. That, You've got your bloody crystals, yeah. dear. <laughs> You've got your crystals. Get on with it. We're having okay, the tools. So. I could also do meditation <laughs> with you as well. No! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. I will. I will get you to do a meditation. At some One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> Maybe I, not today. I've got a six foot Buddha. Oh, I didn't. You can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I've had him with me for years and years and years. Where is six he? Foot? I can't, well, I'd have to. I'd have to go a long way to actually show you, but I'll. I'll show you another day. He's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. He's a gorgeous boy. Gorgeous. And I talked to him. So there you go. There Do you, you rub go. his tummy? Does he help you, Sherry? Yes. Yeah. Do you rub his you... tummy? Steady. No. Steady. Stop now, Dee. <laughs> <Daddy. laughs> no, he's, not, he's, not he's not that kind of Buddha. Oh. The only thing I think, I, I don't have anything that I rub or anything that gets me through the days. The only thing that kind of gets me through the days is just, is just thinking I can be in this day. And if I think about, oh my God, what's happening tomorrow or down the line, I'm panic. And so yeah. I just want to make the most of no. this day, seeing you, calling whoever, talking to my almost 94 year old father, my sister, family, friends, 
you know, those are the things that kind of keep me present because it's when I spin off in my own crazy mind, yeah. which doesn't always yes. tell me the right things, I get lost. Yeah. And I, I think it, I just want to keep, it is bizarre. It isn't normal. You know, you can't just knock on your neighbor's door and chat to them. You have to be feet away and you can't, you know, it's all of that. Do I, do I have to wipe down my hand if I knock on the door? It's, it's a completely bizarre day. But if I just think I can be here and make the most of this, choose to make the most of this today, then I have some peace. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It's a, very good, it's a very good way to be, actually. It's, and it's interesting how hard that is to be, how hard yeah. it is to be present. Because we've spent so long, so long in our lives not either thinking what we're doing tomorrow, what we're doing later. And this is, this is what animals, this is why they are so fabulous, because they're only in the moment. And that's why children are only in the moment. And so we're, we're getting, yeah. as I said before, to go back to the original conversation, we're actually learning how to be again. Because and that's, that's what gives you power, you know. When you're in the moment, you're very powerful. When you're, in, yeah. when, you're, when you're thinking about, I'm so frightened of something, you're either in the past or in the present, so you're frightened yeah. of something happening. So, so all of, to be present gives you an incredible amount of, of power. And I think as women on our own, which, which you know, three of us are, I mean, Harriet's got her, her kids with her, but-, but They don't are, speak to me. They don't even talk to me. No, they don't. <laughs> but they're in the house with you. And I, I know what my doggies, I know how lucky I am, but our, our, our women on our own, we, we you know, we, we do go into our heads and all of these scenarios and all of this rubbish going on. But if we're present and realize that A, we are healthy, thank God, and we are here and we will come out of this. And this is just giving us a period of rest, I think. There's also, yes, we can, thing, yes. there's also that thing is that sometimes people are with families, but they feel they have to be the strong one. So they don't share it. And they, they may be with people, but they're in their own head as well. And I think that's very tough because they have yeah. to be strong, to be supportive of people who are ill, who they're looking after, they're worried about money, all those things. And I think, again, that advice is so right, is being present and knowing we, can, we are enough is, is the way forward. Because Correct. trying to be superhuman in a time when yeah. we are powerless is mad. We can't. Yeah. And we are lucky, you know, because there are families out there living in flats with three four children and not able to get out at all what on earth can they do what can they do i mean that's kind of preying on my mind i know i can't do anything about it and it's crazy but there are people out there who who have little space and all of them in that little space and yeah. if we are really locked down and you really can't go out then what I was talking to a friend last night. Can I just tell you this? A friend of mine in the States last night is they're in lockdown. And they said to me that they have a little, I suppose, like our corner shops, but they're now, you, you almost go, he went for a drive, you go, you ring them, say what you want. And it's like a McDonald's drive through and they happen to be giving him alcohol, but um, he literally was like a, a cocktail drive through. Oh gosh. What do we think? Cocktails. Do you think that would be good? Yes, which my daughter last night did. Um, I had a yep. cocktail on my doorstep. Sex yes. on the beach. It was. How did you hear that, that, Debbie? Goodness. Uh, it was it was really fantastic. The only sex I've had in, in ages. And I, I haven't drunk it. <laughs> I haven't drunk it yet. It was you know because obviously it arrived at ten o'clock last night. It was a bit late for me. So it just it. arrived on your doorstep in a glass or in a jar. In a glass. In a glass with a top on it. And it was. No. Nice I got one. And, and she's and Kira has sent my daughter something to all her friends. So uh, wow. thank you, Roddy. Oh. If you want, thank you, Roddy. How wow. is it a company or what? Yeah, oh, it's a company, great. but it's it's a local guy to Cobham. So I, I'll put I'll oh. put the details on our website actually. Uh, or yeah, do yeah. yeah. need some London but branches. <laughs> yeah, but but you know the other thing that's very good that's come from this is that all the homeless in London have been rehomed. Yes. 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 Have in in hotels. Beginning. Yeah, in hotels. For yeah. the first time ever, so that's what I'm saying, how the world has changed. All the people that were in society that were looked down upon have been now, the, we're now looking after them. We're now yeah. supporting each other. Yeah. This, is the, this is the good thing about what's going on, Sherry. You know, as hard it as it is for us to, to, to find ourselves really in the situation that other people were before, because now we're isolated. Yeah. And where before they were, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of the whole world's yeah. turned on its head, hasn't it? It's odd. And my yeah. 80-year-old friend, you know, Val, who you yeah. know, Debbie, You've I've talked, talked about everyone. I've talked about her. My, 
my mentor she is she's amazing and she just said to me as soon as this happened this had to happen because we were all moving we we're all going too fast everyone had lost their sense of values and you know they were they were doing te- you know awful things to the planet and and now it, it, we have to take you know it's the planet fighting back as sherry said earlier you know we all have to take stock and, and say you know we've got to slow down and it's yeah, giving us definitely. thinking time yeah yeah I think I so. so. Are there any planes running at the moment at all? There, uh, is there are some. I, I see some go and I think, where the hell are they going? Where are they coming yeah. from? <laughs> what? I mean, EasyJet has downed all their planes now. Yeah. I think BA have, haven't they? Uh, but there are planes going. I'm not sure where they're going to. <clears throat> you know, maybe they're, they're just picking they're people up and bringing around. them home, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe the airport urgent. should be shut down now. I think. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got a few, yeah. two more minutes left, guys. Is is there anything you'd like to ask people to ask us, or any thoughts you have? No, first of all, I'd just apologise for what happened today. So we we weren't yes. officially live. Absolutely. Uh, uh, really sad. Of a lot we'll of trouble. On, we'll be back on Wednesday. Just uh, any questions that you want put on our page, and we'll get back. Please to do. Them. Yeah. Just just thoughts about to it. everything that you're feeling just put them out there we're all feeling it and we're all here together and we're all you know trying to help everybody just anything absolutely. anything you feel absolutely and we can always meditate you can always meditate oh, no. anyway <laughs> i must go now bye <laughs> always meditate bye um, namaste bye